it done. Joining me now to discuss Republican Congressman Rodney Davis of Illinois. Congressman, it's great to have you here. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Senate leaders, they are trying to work through this right now. But now, after the CBO analysis, you have four Republican senators who are so concerned that they won't even vote to move this debate, move to debate this Senate bill. Are you concerned this is about to fall apart? Well, this is the legislative process. I mean, this is similar to what happened in the House when we didn't call a vote the first time that we had planned to. We got together, worked the legislative process uh, to its, through its entirety, and then we were able to pass a bill. Uh, the Senate is going to be able to do the same, and we'll just see how long that takes. Do you think, well, how long that takes is a big question. Do you think the deadline here is a problem? Well, I think it could be, but that's what the senators are going to have to do what we did in the House and, and work the legislative process. Um, Jackie Spear, colleague of yours, Democratic colleague in the House, had her on earlier, and she had this to say about the Senate bill. Congressman, listen to this. This is um, a, a bill without being hyperbolic that will guarantee that people will die. What are you going to do? Kick all these That's people out of nursing homes? Congresswoman, how can no, you say I think it's going to guarantee people are going to die? Because they will not be able to access health care. And if you can't access health care and you're in an uh, emergent situation, um, you will not get that health care and you will likely die. Your reaction to that? You know, that's it, sad to hear. Um, you know, a week ago, I stood here in this same hallway in a baseball practice uniform asking everyone, all of us here in Congress and in the media, to, to, to tone down this hateful and vitriolic rhetoric. Um, Jackie, of all people, understands what it's like to go through the same terror that many of us did uh, just a few short weeks ago. Um, I would hope that we could, instead of using vitriol like that, and, and let's, let's actually talk about our policy differences. We've got 60 million people in this country right now who don't have health care insurance who, or who have health care coverage they can't afford to use. I Let's think address the problems. Was, I think what her point was is that people are going to be pushed off of Medicaid, for one example, if they have serious health issues, they're not going to be able to get health care, and that would guarantee them that they would die. Well, Medicaid is an issue in the state of Illinois where we have the expansion yeah. program where we have 44% of all of those who are on the Medicaid expansion rolls in Illinois that are ages 19 to 34 able-bodied adults. We've got to work to get them off of Medicaid and into an employer-based health care system, get them a job. Those are the types of issues we have to face to strengthen the Medicaid system that we have that actually helps those who need it the most, the aged and disabled. But I would urge my colleagues, all of my Democrat colleagues, come to the table with your solutions. Don't just stand back and complain about a process, a process you may or may not like. Let's offer your solutions, but the solution of keeping the status quo, where we have 20% of our population that's uninsured or can't afford to use the coverage they have, that's well, not the problem, success. The problem, for, the problem for the Senate bill right now is not really Democrats. It's an intra-party intra, intra fight. It's Republicans. I mean, just one example, one objection from fellow Republicans in the Senate is that this bill that they're negotiating is just moving too fast. Listen here to Lisa Murkowski, Congressman. This is big stuff, and so making sure that we get it right is something that I have said is an imperative. I don't think it's asking too much to say, give us the time to fairly and critically analyze these numbers. These numbers that we're talking about, these are men and women. These are our families that are being impacted. So let's please get it right. Yeah, she, she just wants more time. Is that an unreasonable request? Well, that's not an unreasonable request, and I would hope that Senator Mikowski will continue to let her feelings be known with uh, Leader McConnell and the rest of Senate leadership. We got time in the House to address many more of our concerns. One of my major concerns was making sure we had multiple layers of protections for pre-existing condition coverage. My wife's an 18-year cancer survivor. I want to make sure that anyone who goes through that, any family who goes through cancer or fights a disease like that gets those layers of protection, and that's what the extra time allowed us to do. Yeah, we'll see if they do get that extra time because that seems to be one of the big issues on the Senate side. I do, while I have you, Congressman, um, the president confirmed on Sunday that he did say behind closed doors that he considers the House bill, the House health care bill, to be mean. What is your reaction to that? You know, it's frustrating because I sat in a room with the president uh, numerous times after the first version uh, was not called for a vote. 
to address many of the concerns that the administration had, that many of my colleagues had. But I got to give the administration a lot of credit. They opened their doors to our ideas, and they opened their doors to, to listen to changes. And when you have the Democrats, both in the House and the Senate, not participating in at all, trying to actually help legislate, then of course Republicans are going to have to work together to pass a bill with only Republican votes, which is what we had to do. And what Democrats had to do with Obamacare, and we will see if Republicans will be able to do it in the Senate side um, right now. But right now, they're having some issues. Congressman, it's great to have you. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Coming up for us,